going on guys? Welcome to Duck Crossing and now this is episode 9. I'm Duck Hunter 44 and with me of course is Jack. And today we're just going to get into another big conversation about yes. Nintendo. Like even before we started this video, we were just already talking. <laughs> like that's how it normally just starts out. We just start talking about something. Well, you got to think of like, does it have any legs? Like is there anything that we can do? That's legs? Like... <laughs> don't, don't leak it too early. Don't tell anybody about Are we that. talking about arms right now? <laughs> We always gotta sneak an arms thing in there because otherwise it's like, <laughs> okay. what are you doing? Before we dive into anything, I just want to say, um, we just got absolutely thrashed with snow. Yeah. I mean, I, this is, <laughs> like, we got absolutely hammered. Like, I don't know where you guys live, but we got destroyed. And we're not the only ones that are getting... No, like, and we're up in the mountains too. Yeah. So we, like, when I went to work, there was no snow. But I come back here, it's just thrash. Oh man. And it's still coming down. Yeah, it's Christmas time. I mean we've been ready. Like for there's Christmas. there's at least three feet out there right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> He's I came home, dude, and the plow, like going to, like the walls were like up to here, dude. Oh, on the road. When God. you leave you'll see it, dude. <laughs> oh man. We got thrashed. I'm glad I don't have to go too far. I know, you should go down <laughs> the road, but still like dang dude. You just been getting annihilated. I mean, uh, that was kind of another thing that tied this <laughs> into the concept of what we wanted to do today. Because I remember when Brawl came out, there was a snowstorm going on. Oh, dude! And we were getting when the Nintendo it. Switch came out, the launch unit started to snow. I mean, it was freezing, yeah. But it started snowing too. Like it wasn't like an actual no, like, not snowstorm, like, but it did now. start snowing. Because like when we went to Brawl, like we were getting ready to go to GameStop for the midnight launch. It was like really crappy out. I was going to go pick up my little brother and we were heading to GameStop, man. It was like, you're going to weather the elements you could get to. Because that was something that also I wanted to tie in. Is like, I remember going for the bra launch. Like how big of a thing that was. Like everybody was in on that right. game. And that's what it's like again now. Right. With when you have a successful platform and like a yeah. platform that people are into versus... Like the Wii U, it feels like people didn't even care. I don't even about think Smash Four. I feel like Splatoon was bigger than Smash on the Wii U in a way. In a way, yeah. I mean, they were bundled together, so that knows. It was really... definitely a much more like new, interesting right. type of concept. Like Splatoon, even now, it feels yeah. super fresh. Like, it just feels different from everything else, and like how much they improved over just one right version right. of the game, like. Smash Brothers is the same way too, like going from the original to Melee and then going to Melee to Brawl, like they constantly have to like top what right, they did before. What they're doing. And now we're at the point where we have almost a hundred characters, almost I, like over a hundred stages. And you know they're going to keep adding more. <laughs> well, they got DLC? Yeah, I mean, so we it's just going to be coming. a consistent roll of just stuff. Which, which is, is unbelievable, like, without a doubt. and that's another theme of going today, it's like, we are so spoiled with good content. I mean, this year I would say is probably even, like, a lesser, like, there wasn't as many big things. There was just kind of, like, Pokemon and Brawl, or right, uh, right. the and new Smash yeah. Brothers were, like, huge, huge things. But I those you had to wait the whole year to get to. 2019 is going to have some heavy, heavy hitters, first off. Animal Crossing, dude. Well, that, Yoshi, I'm really excited for Yoshi. I really yeah, like Yoshi will be cool. Game. Yeah, um, to me it's just, just all about Animal Crossing. Well, like, yeah. Nothing, when is it not? Yeah, nothing means anything compared to that. Like, all right. I want is to play that game. Right. Because, like, I got so teased with the Pocket Camp. And it's like, it's a really good game, especially for a mobile. And I love the mechanisms they use to, like, change the formula, but also no. stay true to it. But... It really made me want to play a real Animal Crossing game. Well, I mean, it's been so long. I mean, we yeah. say it all the time. It's been so long Too since long. we've had a full Animal Crossing game. But I think their their idea was to wait for the right time, the, right, the right platform, right. and like really, hopefully, make some significant changes to the formula because they haven't really. New Leaf was the biggest changes. Right, they and that and they were big changes, but like they weren't. It was the still same mechanics, same, you And that's know. the same thing I wanted to talk about today is, like, I have huge nostalgia and love for these old games. Like, I'd mm -hmm. love to boot up the old Animal Crossing or boot up the old Pokemon or boot up the old Smash right. Brothers. But in actually playing it, because, like, I recently 
hooked up the Wii, put the AV cables in the back of the TV, and booted up the Wii, got the Wii motes out and everything. <laughs> like, because I wanted to play the Subspace Emissary on Brawl, because it was like, man, I haven't played that in 10 years. And, like, I'm hoping that the World of Light type of part of the game is kind of like that. Yeah. Because I remember it being so cool, but, like, I'm playing it right now, it's like, it really doesn't do, do that much for me. Right. And, like, Brawl just feels weird. Like, it's really slow, and, like, it feels kind of, like, clunky to me. And, like, obviously, Smash Brothers is one of the most masterfully designed games of all time. It's, like, one of the craziest things to even exist. But, like, playing through it, it's not really that fun, even. Right. Like, it's kind of clunky, and, like, you die in dumb ways, and, like, there's stupid, like, little platforming things that don't really make sense, and, like, gliding. I don't know if you guys remember gliding from Brawl, but, like, I cannot figure that out at all. I'm so used to, like, the new games. Right. And I'm used to playing the new way and how they make it, like, so easy for you to, right. like, jump in. This game feels like... It's outdated. It's not, yeah, it really is. Like, especially, I mean, visually, it's not even fair to compare. Yeah. Because, well, like, the big cut scenes, the big, like, set pieces they did, it's like, it right. does not look... Like, Smash 4 looks incredibly good. Yeah. And people kind of looked over that game. I mean, I Without think part doubt. of it was the Wii U. I think the big thing was yeah, the Yeah, I guess Wii U. you're right. It pretty much was all the And Wii this U. is, like, another thing I kind of want to tie into. So, like, I always want to play, like, an older Pokemon game, or I want to play, like, an older game. And I still do. Like, Virtual Console. I do, but I start playing that game. Like, I recently booted up, I believe it was just Pokemon Red. I was playing it on my Game Boy. And I just wanted to play it again and just enjoy it. And playing on the Game Boy, man. And I got to the first, you know, beat the first game, and I was just like... I just stopped. Yeah. And it's another thing, like, when the games came out on the 3DS, I was playing those two on there. Got to, like, the fourth gym, and I was just like, Ugh. Yeah. You really got to push yourself to get through it. Like, you and like, when, like But, like, when committing. I started, though, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to have an awesome team. I'm going to beat the, you know, have a great team, enjoy this game. And then I get there, and I'm just like, oh. It's a much more of a grind. Like, if but you want to build your team, it's But, like, when a new Pokemon game comes out... It's yeah. non-stop. I'm non-stop playing it. Like, Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. I mean, they just make it so much easier for you to, like, get to that point of, like, building your team or catching right. the guy or, like, shiny hunting like you talked about. Oh, that's so fun. Like, shiny getting the perfect so stats, fun. getting yeah. the perfect, like, nature. Like, you can actually do these things. Right. You can actually... The game makes it, like, you can actually do it versus in the old game. It's like, most of that stuff was hidden. You didn't even know about it. Especially right. as kids, like... You had no clue, like, how to make a perfect Pokemon. Right. You just didn't know. Like, now it's like they almost teach you. Like, some of those things are still kind of behind the scenes a bit. But, right. like, it's just so much more accessible. And it's so much easier to do this stuff. And it's like, that's not a bad thing. No, not at that's all. That's not a thing that I think we should think of as, like, if you're making the game more accessible and easier to play and like, easily to get to these goals, that's not a bad thing. Like No. And especially now for us, it's like we don't have all day, every day to play these games and like commit right. to. So the time you do spend, you want to feel like you're making some progress. Some pro yeah, at least. And you want to feel like you're achieving the stuff you want to achieve. And like you can do that. Right. Even if you're like with me with Let's Go, I've only been able to play like a couple hours at a time, a couple times. And it's like I still feel like I'm making a ton of progress. Right, like you're doing something. And every time I'm going on a new route, I can find new guys that I haven't got. To like, and I feel like I could actually complete my Pokedex and not like have to take a ton of time right doing it just to yeah. raise the guys and like evolve yeah. them. You know, like I can just kind of do it casually. Like you have another dude in your party and he's just gaining experience, so you can just raise him up. Right. And even like swapping your guys out from your inventory. Oh my god! Having to go back to the yes. PC. Yes, like, that's sick. Yeah, I'm so happy the PC's gone. So I got all eight badges. Oh, wow. Um, Jeez, I'm way behind. Yeah, that, and now I'm just going to, before I go to the Elite Four, I'm just going to kind of get all the guys that I want on my team, because I'm very, like, specific hmm. with my team, um, but it's looking good right now. Like, Have you I'm, been catching, like, a lot of guys over and over just to get candies, or are you not doing that? Uh, I have been doing that, because More I've been trying hunting. to do shiny hunting, which, now that I got 
now that I can have any level Pokemon, see like my the problem that I was having before, my guys that I wanted on my team were getting were too strong, too strong, and, I, and they weren't listening to me because I haven't gotten past the certain gyms yet. Yeah. So now that I got all the gyms out of the way, and I can have any Pokemon, any level, now just you can like, just kind of go for it. Now I can just kind of keep shiny hunting and get the guys. I think I have like 85 in my Pokedex right now. Pretty good. Like caught. Right. That's pretty good. I mean, so obviously we played. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, like a million times. Played them all. When you played it, did you like get some new completely things? different game? So I mean, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say that's a a remake. remake. That was kind of my thing when it that is a when it was game. announced. I didn't really feel like it was a remake. Right. Even it's, though it very much is in a lot of ways. Yeah, you're playing Gen One, but it is not a remake. A lot of the dialogue things are the same, and like the same set well, pieces, yeah. the same places you but go. It's, it's For just, a remake, it's, it's very new. Different. Like, there's never been any Pokemon game with these graphics, with what's going on in the game, you know, seeing the Pokemon in the real world. Yeah. There's nothing like this out there. This is new. I mean, in every new Pokemon game, there's always, like, different changes that you feel like, oh, I wish they would take and carry that on. Right. In this case, like, I feel like there's a lot of things I would really like to see them carry on, and they're, like, very essential to the main mechanics of the game like the wild Pokemon thing. Like yeah. I definitely would rather go back to battling in wild, but being able to see Pokemon in the oh. wild, that's something I would really not want right. to change. Right, like the thing that they should have added is probably like, would you want to catch this Pokemon or do you want to battle them? Right, know, like... I guess you could do it that way, but it's like a lot of, like there's some moves well, they should like, like They should just have you battling them. They have no use wanna... unless you're right. using them for capturing. Right. Like, false swipe, it's like, what would be the purpose in that, unless you're using it to capture yeah. guys? So, like, that's something I would like to see kind of go back, and I think they probably will. Oh, without doubt. With the new game, but... Other things, like I said, changing guys out from your box oh, in your actual yeah. inventory, I think that's awesome. Right. And stuff like, we already take for granted, like, TMs being used a million, as many times as you want. Well, I'm glad. Way I'm, really, works. I'm really happy. Like your Pokemon, like either Eevee or Pikachu, uses like cut. Yeah, the, T the HM things. Yeah, like, that's another thing that you don't think about. That's like this is a newer Pokemon concept, but it's like why wasn't it always this way? Right. It's so much better this way. Not yeah. to say like the old stuff is bad, because like I can still play that and enjoy it for what it is. But the way we get to play now is just it's better. I Without feel like it's doubt. better. Without and, a doubt. With Smash Brothers, you know, obviously we haven't got to play it. No. But... I mean, I played it. This is essentially, like, we just talked about, like, remake port kind of thing. Like, that's kind of what yeah. this one is. But I think the stuff they're going to change in this version is going to make it better. Right. And it was already really good. I mean, good you can tell they're 4. trying to make it better without yeah. a doubt. Well, it's, fun. it's crazy to me that a lot of people never even played... The last game <laughs> on the Wii U. I'm just like, man, you didn't like. Well, and that's why. Now. That's why when I played it at E3, I was like, oh, this you is, have played it. Yeah, that's why I was like, this is like the Wii U. It is. Like the when I grabbed the controller, I think I was playing with a GameCube controller, or probably Pro. It was either Pro or GameCube. I don't remember. Because it's usually like when they show people playing, it's usually the Pro. Right. I think it was the Pro. Um. When I, whatever. When I started playing. Um, I was like, this is just like the Wii U. Yeah. I mean, if you played like, it, that's what you're going like, to Like, yeah, I was... I, there was other characters that weren't. Yeah. And I, like, I was using the Inkling and Ridley. And hmm. Besides that, I was like, you know, this is fun, of course. It's going oh, yeah. to be awesome. Oh, but yeah. if you played the Wii U, you're, you're going to be very familiar with oh, what's yeah. going on. Well, I mean, if you played Smash Bros. in general, you're going to be don't pretty know. familiar. I feel like if you go from Brawl to that, you're going to be blown away. Well, you're talking but 10 years. if you go from Wii U to this, you'll be like, okay. Yeah, it's a much more of like a, a half step or like yeah. a partial step. Not Without like a go. full several steps from where Brawl was. Because like Cause I said, after going back and playing it, it really solidified for me like how much better the game is now. Like right. I really like the concept of the main story game in Brawl, but like... And actually playing it, it's not really... There's a reason why I played it when the game came out, and then I never played it again. Makes sense. It's just, 
you know, it was a cool idea, it was fun to play through, and like you kind of needed to, you felt like really? you were obligated to play See, through it, but... Another another thing to bring up, New Leaf, like I tried just going back into New Leaf, doing a new town, like I saw my original oh, really? town, and I, and I wanted to just play again, and I couldn't get into it. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of tough to like... And I think like, it's because that thing, because like you again. know what you already have. Yeah. It's hard to like you know? re-earn and re-like do all that especially in a game like that where it's right. like so much built off of like well it just shows that we need a new like we need they always yeah you were so games. like hungry to play a new one you're trying to try to play the right. old one over again but it's just not the same it's not there's it's no, not the same you don't want to like it's start not. over in that no definitely when you've not. already kind of experienced that before there's so many hours in that game yeah like non-stop hours but I like that I can, like, my town is safe. Like, I can leave it, my flowers are good, like, everything's fine, and I can go back and visit any time, but... Once that new one comes out... Yeah, I'm not gonna, gonna start a new game in that. I, I need the new game. Right. But yeah. I tried. And it's just like playing the old Pokemon games. Like, I tried, but... It's just not as fun, you know? Like, obviously Which, you have a lot of attachment yeah. to it, but... It's like it just you, doesn't... you played it and you're done. You yeah. Know? Well, it, games kind of work like that. Like, you play it, you conquer it, you master it, and then you move on. Like, that's part of, like, our hunger of, like, right. we need a new we game new all games, the time because right. you don't necessarily play the same thing over and over and try to, like, beat it to the unteenth degree. You just kind of, like, play it, beat it, finish it. Right. And you feel like you want to move on to the next thing. Right. Like when I was showing you Viva Pinata, I wanted you to play. Yeah. It would be a I, hard I tried you. doing another one. And well, knowing and knowing what I had before. Yeah. Like Dude, I, the Animal Crossing thing is a big factor because like to progress in that game, it is a slog, man. Like you really gotta put in the work so that you can get the it's upgrades. A lot of work. That and game, then everything builds off itself, so you've got to get these guys, you can feed them to these guys, and then you can get the next guy, and then you have enough space so you oh, can yeah. make what they want so that they'll move in. I like that type of concept, though. Like, it really kind of builds your investment in the How game. How far did you get? I didn't get much farther than when you last saw me, so I was, like, starting to build up a pond. And oh, okay. I need to get ducks back so I could get some... Uh, Alligators, alligators or whatever yeah them. i want to get some of the bigger guys but i never really got there um but like i said i really like the progression of how like everything builds off of itself like that type of um mechanism works well right. for me because you're like you're constantly thinking about the next thing right. and how you're going to be able to get to the next thing and there's so much in that game yeah oh so my God. much i'm just blown away playing that thing like yeah for one, what a unique concept it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is also a game that came out in 2006, so that's back when the Wii came out. It's like, there's yeah. literally nothing to this day that's anything like it. No. I mean, not I, even close. I could see them bringing it back and putting it on a Nintendo platform. It would be huge. I would love to see it. Um, what was that? Ooblets? Was oh, it? the Ooblets! That Don't was, get me started on Ooblets, That was dude. something that seems like Ooh. to kind of scratch a bit of that itch, but obviously not just but that part Xbox. of it. That's like one element of their game, not like the whole concept Ooblets, of it. If you guys haven't heard of Ooblets, check it out, man. Just look up Ooblets on Twitter, and I mean, this game just looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, when we get to that point of playing that game, like that's oh, be... That game is going to be unbelievable. But Viva Pinata as like an interactive, it was almost like a zoo or like Right, it's more like of that. like a... Uh, yeah, I could see that. Like it's, it's like, like an interactive pet type of experience, almost. But there's more to it. It's so hands-on. Oh my god, they require so much of you. Like nothing works like automatically. In right, game. and it's I like, mean, there's always something happening. A pinata's getting broken over here. Oh my god, there's something going fights. over here. Your your plants are dying over here. You get you know like it's yeah, nonstop. There's the bad guys moving. And that's in. why I kind of want you to play the second one because in the second one you have like four different gardens. At, a at time. the same time? Yeah. How the heck do you do that? So you have one, you have one in the sand, you have one in like the snow, you have oh, one in the... Oh, so they like automatically give you yeah. the settings? 
Because that's what it seemed like was suggested in the original game is like, okay, make this one your, like, water one. Make this one your, like, land one or right. whatever. But it doesn't, like, outright make it that way. It just right. was, like, a suggestion as yeah. far as how to get through the game. But I think it's a really cool concept. It's yeah. just unfortunate. Like, you kind of had to tell me how the story or how the franchise progressed. Yeah. And how they kind of, like, immediately moved away from, from what, what was interesting was. to me, the original concept. And I think playing it today, like, it's just so different. It's so yeah. interesting. Like, I would love to see them do revisit something. that. I do agree with you that I think it would be more successful on a Nintendo platform. Without like, doubt. We'll see. I see if they use... I think Sea of Thieves would be more successful on Nintendo platform. But I don't know that they could actually achieve it because of, like, the always online type of yeah. thing. Yeah. But then, I mean, they have, like... I'm just sorry to say this. I'm, I love the Xbox, but Rare should be teamed up with Nintendo, not Xbox. Bring it back. I mean, even though they're not it's, even, like... It's just... And I know Microsoft owns them and all that, but, like, Rare... The, their art style and the way they make their games just belongs on a Nintendo platform. I mean, they obviously had their highest level of success on Nintendo, but that was a different thing. I don't know what they're doing. I feel like Microsoft is kind of chomping at the bit to try to work with Nintendo, though. Like They, they definitely yeah. want to work with Nintendo. I mean, obviously Minecraft. Yeah. Like, that's just successful no matter where it is, so there's that. But, like... I feel like they would do really well together. Again. Because I mean, Xbox is like the adult audience, Nintendo is like the mix. Because I think Microsoft is trying to work the angle of like, hey, if we work with you, maybe eventually you'll work with us. Right. You know, because like, I don't even think it would be that big of a deal to like release legacy content, like super old school virtual console stuff and put it on Xbox. On Xbox. All it is is making you more money. And it's also just like making, which is a huge thing of Smash Brothers, which to me I solidified to like being a Nintendo fan. Like mm -hmm. most of those characters when I played them in the original Smash, like I didn't, some of them I didn't even know who they were. Cause I kind of jumped in, like I didn't have a Nintendo platform myself. It's like I shared it with my cousins or whatever at grandma's house. But like Ness and like Captain Falcon and like even Samus, like, I didn't know who these were. Right. So, like, I learned about them through Smash Brothers, and then I wanted to, like, discover further what, who, what they meant and, what and they like, are, yeah. what the legacy was in the Nintendo history. So, like, that kind of opened the door. And I feel like that could be the same way for kind of the cross-platform thing, a crossover type of game. It just, like... It makes you want to find out what these guys are all about. Right. And that's makes like, sense. as the big companies, like, that's definitely what they want to see. Yeah. They want people to, like, dig into the library and, you know, become more interested in more of the franchises, especially with Nintendo, where, like, oh, yeah. So much of their success is built around their big franchises. And some of them have been dormant for, like, since Smash Brothers. Oh, like, yeah. F-Zero or even Metroid to a lesser extent, like, they've kind of taken a break from it for a while. Yep. I could totally see that. So, like, I would say the message we're trying to get at today is, like, we just have to be so grateful and thankful for the games that we have today. I don't know how you can be somebody that is playing the Switch today <laughs> and cannot, like, recognize, like, how amazing this thing is you have in your hands. Like, this is not that far removed from the Wii U, uh, well, yet e it has so much of a bigger impact. Like, you I'm sorry. You one generation away, right. like... If, if you went to everyone in the world that has a Nintendo Switch and you said, here, I'm, I'm taking your Switch, here's a Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, even booting up the old Splatoon. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like... It's... It's night and day, and that's not that that old. It's not old. But you play the new game, and you play the old game, and it's like, man... The colors, the... This is so much better. Yeah. No disrespect to, like, obviously, it's original OG, Splatoon, yeah, OG, original but, Pokemon, original right, Smash no Brothers. Like, to them, I but... love those things. Like, those are some of the most important things in my life, right. but it's not as good. I, right. There's it's just... just it, everything's always moving forward. And, like, we need games. Like, games are going to keep coming, consoles are going to keep coming, we're going to keep And buying. you can't 
as a developer also like just put out the same you stuff. You can't yeah, you can't stop. You can't. I mean even Somehow if, Call of Duty gets away with it though. But they try new stuff though. They do try new stuff. They did try but, new stuff. <laughs> and I think that's kind of hopefully for them like bringing a more higher level of right, success again. Right. They are coming back. I mean, Fortnite's just absolutely. I was going to say, I think the reason why they felt obligated to actually try is because they had competition. Well, uh, dude, like Nintendo, I don't really think has competition in the arenas in which they make games in the certain genres. Like yeah. platformers, I don't really think there's anybody else doing right. good platformers like they do. But at the same time, they're still trying new stuff with Mario. Yeah. I just, I just have to say this really quick. So I stopped playing Fortnite for a little bit. It's probably like ever since Pokemon came out. I just yeah. Stopped, even a little bit before that, I kind of stopped playing. Where you get ready for the um, Christmas stuff. But I ha we know we've been playing a little bit, and man, it just hooks me right back in. I don't know what even it is if about you that take game. A break, you go right I don't back. know what it is about that game. It's the only game I've ever really, besides Call of Duty, that I've ever really been just hooked back into. Like uh, right. Like because like after this, I'm gonna go play. Right. Like I'm just gonna go play. And it's not like with Call of Duty, like you got into it. You're gonna go back to it and play it, right? Game, really, right? You kind of moved on. I'm, from I'm, that, I'm right? ready for the new Call of Duty, but yeah. this game I can go back to. There's something about this game. Well, same like we're, the games we're talking about. Like, there's always something to go back to and enjoy, but it really but, makes you realize like how far we've come and how much better we have it now. And it's just it's just crazy how this one free game. Yeah. Just, that will continue to amaze me until. And they're gonna keep growing. I think that's the reason why, like, the same thing we're talking about. It's like, they're not, even as the most successful game in the world, monetarily, and probably sales, I'm assuming, I mean, yeah. if you count, I mean, it's a free game, so it's kind yeah, of but unfair, in -game but sales they're still making more money than everybody else, games. anyways. They're not being like, okay, yeah, we're good. Like, every week, they have a they're, new thing. They're pushing, every day, they're coming out with something. Yeah, and every like, day, you see on the bottom of the screen, update coming at 5 a.m., Eastern time, yeah. you know, and like, if Fortnite is any example to follow, like obviously they're the most successful. You want to follow them. They're not standing still and saying right. like. I we, also saw like won, they're like, gonna do gifting. Yo, like, give, it started. Thinking of how like this, it already makes the most money. Now people are gonna want to spend more money. Hey, so I want to buy you give this. it to somebody else. And, and send it to this person. Are you kidding me? Like, <sighs> it's a Christmas gifting. That's so smart. Like every single decision and like new thing you tell me about the game, I'm like, dude, these yeah. guys are killing it. Like they oh, have these another they, amazing smart idea. Yeah, they're, it's that's just, gonna make them so much more money. Yeah, because you know kids are gonna be like, oh, I want to give you this thing or like even like, just as like a joke. Sometimes if you see like a stupid <laughs> outfit, <laughs> you're gonna send it to a friend just to mess with them or a dumb like, like lighter or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just like this game is so well done like yeah, I, I mean, so much respect to epic so much respect because they killed it yeah I'm, it's, <laughs> he doesn't even play it yeah, that's <laughs> why it's like, like that much more like it's weird like, to me how how they're doing everything right like he doesn't even play it and he knows about half this stuff well yeah i mean if you're somebody that's like, like in the world of video games like you can't <laughs> escape fortnite even if you don't even care about games at it's all nuts. you couldn't escape fortnite no. it's around you all the time but that's gaming like in general like it's become and it infiltrated like more and more of everyday life yeah and fortnite it's... is like the perfect evolution of that concept no we're back <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where we got cut off but <laughs> we were talking about fortnite oh, um, because like the camera like sets up uh has to like do separate files or whatever. yeah i think so but whatever um so i guess we can wrap it up then before the camera so, shuts off <laughs> so basically um we just have to really enjoy and love what we have today i think we are because like we were saying playing old games like we love them but it's like man i just blows me away like, <laughs> within my lifetime how much things have changed Dude, even mine even within the Wii U to Switch, like I said, like, that's changed a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, because even, like, when I booted up the 360 for you, mm. dude, I was like, Do you see this load screen? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, dude. <laughs> Loading. I don't Loading. even want to go on PlayStation 3. Like, I don't want to see what that's like. Oh, dude. we got to get the PlayStation Classic. The little... 
Gotta get the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> well, next week you'll have to talk about it. Oh. Gotta See? talk about it. That's Sony moving backwards. We're talking about moving forward today. That's Sony mm. moving backwards. Also, like... They just chose the worst games I've ever seen. Not that. only that, but it's it's very apparent and, like, very transparent that, like, they're just trying to cash in. Like, obviously, that's what Nintendo was doing, too, with yeah, their but thing. Like they but, at like, at least they put games. love into it. Right. And it made you feel like they they were into the idea, like... Sony is just like, oh, you like this crap? <laughs> Here you go for a hundred bucks. Here's math calculated, man. Like, you like that crap? One. Here you go. Like, Here's Cube Runner. Yeah, take this. Enjoy it. Give us a hundred bucks. Like, they didn't put any love into it. Like, it's a very transparent. I'm not buying it, by the way. They don't care. Yeah. They don't find any value in these games. And like I'm saying, you know, as much as things have changed and I know things are better... I still enjoy this stuff right. for its own thing. Yeah. And I recognize that they're not as good as new stuff. Like, the new stuff is better in pretty much most ways. But there's still value in the original Mario Brothers. Right. As, like, difficult as it is to, like, sit there and play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's still, there's something there that's important. Right, I mean, it's... It's not enjoyable to play as much as it was back then. built to where we are today. Right. And that's what it is. That's what should be these classic consoles is like. The You the get base. to enjoy it. Right. Like, you use some of the more modern stuff mm -hmm. to make the games more enjoyable. Because, right. like, playing stuff on the NES, I could actually get through the games. Right. Because I could kind of cheat to do it. And it's like, that just made it more enjoyable for me. It wouldn't be enjoyable to like have to play through the same thing over right. and over and fail at it. It was more enjoyable to be like, all right, let me do a safe state. I can come back to it. Or like, if I mess up, I can pick up from there. Right. Or I can use the internet to look at a map yeah. to find out where the heck I need to go. Right. Like, we just are so spoiled and have, oh, without have it so good. And we even have like too many games that are good to play. Way right too now, many. Especially on the Switch. Like, I just downloaded a couple games for, the, like, the Black Friday or whatever. It's like, I don't even have time to get to them. No. And I'd love to spend time with them, but I just, I wanted to get the good sale, but, like... Now, there's over a thousand games on this console. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't even been out two years. It's wild. Well, it's just... Yeah. It's just, we're just so spoiled. Yeah, I mean. we just have it too good, and we just don't take a time to like recognize that right we just want more we have a free game that's like the best thing ever yeah like how unfair is that you would have told yourself like in the past it's like oh yeah on your new console just get a free game you'll play it for a hundred million hours because i got hours dude people got well hours over a couple hundred game. hours like Woo. easy it's free it's free <laughs> <laughs> so guys hope you enjoyed episode nine of duck crossing uh, comment down below if you like playing old games or if you think you're spoiled with the new ones and can't play the old ones because you're just so <laughs> spoiled. Um, and we'll see you guys all in the next episode. Here we go!